this farm. Uh, part of it he inherited from his grandfather and uh, parts of it we have bought along the way. It's now about 500 acres. As a little boy, my, my father gave me one cow, so everything worked from that, and uh, me and my father had cows together uh, till about, I don't know, 2000, and we, he, he took his then, so we kind of separated our cows, and uh, so me and Anita have uh, had them. We just mainly have had Charlet, uh, nothing registered other than the bulls that we purchased. Everything else has been raised here on the farm. Uh, but uh, we do that and cut and bale our own hay. Uh, everything's done by the family. Um, we have two daughters, Amanda and Kelly. They um, both live really close. Kelly lives behind us. She built a house. Amanda's about a quarter of a mile that way. I have plants that he gets tired of moving every year. So I said, build me a greenhouse. Just build me a greenhouse and I will tend to them also. Well, Amanda, oh, Daddy, I've always wanted a greenhouse. And it that was turned, the first one. That was the first one. And now there are three hot houses. We're putting up two more. And then, of course, the shade house and then a shed that he built for her to sell pots and clay and stuff. Uh, Amanda runs the greenhouse full time. We're really hoping to expand out on some of our native plants. The Audubon gave us, uh, they called and said, I believe they've extended their program for three more years. So we're talking about putting in some extra rows with some new species in. Um, we're in the, that little strip of Blackland Prairie that runs down into Texas. And uh, so it's a really unique um, habitat here in this part of the state. It's just one little strip that runs uh, kind of diagonally from Texas on up. And uh, so we have an opportunity to really put some really unique uh, plants and we plan on expanding the the native uh, along with the greenhouses uh, we're already planning on two more greenhouses and actually started on on the first one um, and then maybe plant on two or three more uh, she Amanda keeps finding uh, more things for us to do so uh, and I think Kelly's got some plans of her own that we're probably going to include all of us too it's something we've always done we grew up in it and I feel like, you know, in the scheme of things, you know, in this country, I feel like it's kind of dying out. We're losing those family farms and we're losing that, you know, the, everything. And so it's just something that we've always kind of felt strongly about, you know, keeping it going. And I've always wanted my kids to be really involved in it and, you know, try to keep this land that, that our families had for all these years and make something out of it and make it, you know, something that can, that can last.